Welcome to the Compressor Guru. I'm Bud. I am the Guru. Uh, my lovely camera wife is running the camera here for a bonus episode. We uh, are shipping this tomorrow. Actually, I'm not shipping it. The customer is picking it up. Got it all ready to go. Got it uncrated. Uh, this is a new line we picked up. This is the first one of the gas drivens we sold. We thought we'd put a bonus episode out about it. Uh, I'll start with over over the years of selling new machines different companies put different emphasis on how well they package them to make sure they don't get damaged in freight I think this one was packaged like it was an egg and it was so put together the crate part of its tore apart over there in the pallet pile and it was so put together it had hardware that I might use to make a box in my woodworking hobbies because it had this really good heavy-duty hardware and they actually protected this machine very well starting with the shipping There's we actually a have a picture of that in its shipping I yeah, will pull that I'll pull that off the other reel yes you're right and it was very well put together and there's no damage to it I unpackaged it here just before we got ready to shoot so that's one and quite frankly I saved all the brackets because I will use them in some project this is an Atlas Copco Honda driven uh, gasoline air compressor that goes on a service truck uh, like you might see working along the road either changing tires on an over the road truck or maybe on a uh, uh, mechanics truck that's doing repair work on the road out there in the construction zones this will be going to the coal strippings and it'll be on a mechanics truck and the coal strippings running around keeping the equipment running well. First off, it has a 30 gallon tank. This uh, machine has a 30 gallon tank and it has a couple nice features. Just starting at the tank, this, this will fit right between the wheel wells of the truck. Most guys that put them on a pickup put them right up against the cab. And it has a real nice base to mount to your floor. Second thing is, they, most of the compre compressors have a pickcock either right here or in the same spot on the other side. This, they put an elbow, this is from the factory, I didn't put this on. And so it's easy enough to get to it and open it up and drain your water out. And a lot of the other compressor companies have the service valve, this is where you put your uh, hose or plumb to they'll put the service valve out here on the end and by the time they put it up in the truck bed uh, they actually have to punch a hole in one of the toolboxes and run the air supply into the toolbox and have their hose reel coming out there with this your supply is out where you can get to it and you actually don't have to damage the box to uh, plumb your compressor up those of you that have been around any gasoline engines, the small engines, know that your your small Honda gas power engines are bulletproof. They're strong, they're dependable, they start easy. And the GX390, it's an electric start, it also has a pole starter. But so it's a dual start. I noticed there's a place for the key. Yeah, it is a dual start, but whenever you've ever, if you've ever tried to hand start a compressor, this is on for looks because <laughs> you want to use your electric starter. Um, it's super simple to hook up. If you'll wander over here, camera lady, camera wife, camera woman, camera beautiful. We put our hot wire right to uh, this lug. We put our 12 volt on a heavy cable coming from the battery and we make sure, sure we are grounded, either grounded very well right here uh, or actually put your ground wire right on one of your uh, engine mount lugs. Uh, it's super important to get these grounded well. Uh, if you don't have a good ground, the, there's actually an issue, uh, at least on the Ingersolls, with, like I said, this is the first one of these we've sold. But if you don't have them grounded well, 
look at that. If you don't have them grounded well on the Ingersolls, you've got a cable coming here. We'll talk about this in a moment, but you have a cable on the Ingersolls, and if you don't have them grounded well, it tries to pull the ground from the cable coming out of the load jenny. This can't be an issue. You simply have to make sure it's grounded well because this is an air cylinder and you have a what would be called a slave cylinder to you to when you reach full pressure this will flip up and send pressure to a little tiny cylinder up here on the carburetor and it will idle down and this is a load jenny and a lot of people wonder how you get a compressor to keep running but quit pumping and it's with this device right here and when it reaches pressure, here's a little tiny muffler, and it is called a muffler. <laughs> but when it reaches pressure, this pops up, and that's kind of like a pressure switch, but it's a different device. This pops up, and it goes to idle, and instead of pushing air into the tank down here, it simply discharges the air that the machine is making up the atmosphere through this port. The compressor idles, or the engine idles down, so it's not sitting there screaming, just blowing hot air. It actually slows down and just pushes whatever air back out this port that it compressed. As with the machine we worked on, or showed you the other day, this is a Quincy KT. I just keep wanting to say KT, folks. It's QT. Like my wife, she's a QT. <laughs> uh, it's a QT5. And this is a Quincy compressor. And Quincy is the best recip compressor in the world. And Atlas Copco bought Quincy in recent history. And instead of putting Atlas's uh, cheap commercial uh, duty compressor out, they adopted the QT5, and this is now their uh, go-to on their small units. And part of the reason we picked them up is because we're getting a very, very good compressor, a couple hundred dollars cheaper than you can buy this from Quincy. So you're getting a Quincy at a discounted price, and it is an awesome machine. This is a two-stage pump. And one other thing that was on the other electric driven is your filter and I want to pull this filter out and we're going to have to take we'll stop the camera for a second because I'm going to run in and get the standard five horsepower filter element and I want you to see how Quincy and Atlas Copco oversized everything because that's one of the things Quincy's famous for is oversizing their uh, bearings in their QR series and making everything so heavy duty you can't hurt it. This is your filter element. This is a Solberg filter element. And by the way, they don't even hide the fact they're buying a Solberg filter. Uh, that's a leading name in the air filter industry. And I'm going to grab a five horse filter. And my lovely camera light is going to keep filling. This is the model. Once again, made in the USA. Maintenance instructions. It has all of your, uh, here's your pressure gauge. Then, of course, you have all of your warnings going through here. Yeah, it's a nice little setup they have here. I'm back from the parts room. This is the standard filter that comes on most 5 horsepower air compressors. Look how little! This is the standard filter that's coming on these QT5s or the Atlas Copcos. I guess I'll learn Atlas Copcos terminology for this particular pump. But uh, they're even oversizing and heavy duty in the filters. Cool. So let me put this back on and we'll move on. 
camera wipe. I saw you got some pictures of the uh, specs here and where it says made in the USA. There we go. Just like downtown. It's pretty cool how it just fits snugly right in there. Yes, it is. Uh, by the way, uh, some of your other brand compressors, they'll use uh, aluminum. Aluminum. Oh. aluminum. That's it. Okay. <laughs> aluminum uh, for a cylinder wall, and they'll push a steel sleeve in them. Uh, some of them even have aluminum up here on the uh, head, and they'll just use a steel plate here. This is. All cast iron, the only aluminum. 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 Well, she what said, I said. Yeah. In this is your two connecting rods and your low pressure piston. The low pressure piston and the high pressure piston are different materials so that it's balanced and runs smoothly. If you made them both out of steel, this machine would vibrate something awful. But they actually make the pistons out of different weight materials so that it runs very smoothly because your high pressure piston is a smaller piston and your low pressure is a larger piston. So this is the first one of the gas driven atlases that go out. We will let you know if there's any performance, service, or any other issues with it. Uh, I expect to report back in several months that the customer is very happy. And you know, the way I am, if there's an issue, I'm going to let you know the, what an issue might be. So, anyway, this is the Compressor Guru. I thank you for checking out the bonus episode and the latest machine to be going out of here, which is an Atlas Copco. Honda gas-driven two-stage air compressor. Oh, Val, in the other one, in the other bonus episode, we were originally going to market uh, with the electric for 2260. I've looked at in viewing audience. I didn't ask my wife's permission on this because she thinks she's the boss, but I'm actually the one that sets pricing. I looked at what the freight takes to get it in and what we have in the machine. We're going to go to the market with the electric for $21.57. It's going to be the sale price and that will be plus tax and freight out of Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania. But $21.57 for that one. This machine will be going to market for just under $2,500 and I haven't actually made the final bill out on it yet. But this machine is going to be under $2,500 to the customer, plus tax, plus uh, freight. And there's no freight on this one because the customer is actually picking it up right there. That's one way for them to save money. And they're a coal mine, so they don't... That's what I was going to ask. What's coal? this one going to be used for? Uh, it's going to be gone into a, a mechanics truck to work on heavy equipment in, in the coal fields. Very good. So... Uh, we're going to have to check the oil on the engine, but once again, the uh, compressors come shipped with the oil in them. You don't even need to buy a startup kit with your filters in oil. It uh, comes set up ready to go. I will check the engine because I don't know if they ship the engine with the oil. So, this is the Compressor Guru. Thanks for checking out this uh, bonus episode, and we'll let you know how this machine works out in the field. Have a great day. God bless. Thank you for watching this episode of The Compressor Guru. Please hit like and subscribe and use the notify bell so you will know when the next new episode is released from The Compressor Guru. God bless you and have a great day.